Hello, my name is Christina and I love to salvage, repurpose and create and help others to do the same. And maybe you noticed my hat. <laughs> this is my gardening hat because today we are in my yard and I am going to take a junkin treasure and make it into beautiful object of garden, object to art. I'm going to put it in my garden and plant it and it's going to be gorgeous. So just wait. It was a found object and we're gonna make it look really special. I'm gonna show you how, and then I bet everybody is gonna be on the hunt for one of these. This week I found so many curbside treasures and junkin treasures. I almost feel like the universe aligns sometimes and gives you exactly what you need. And this week, I guess I needed a whole new garden. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along for the ride. I am going to be doing what I love, and that is salvaging, repurposing, and creating, bringing some beautiful junk into my garden. First up for the garden junk tour is I'm going to be rehabbing this beautiful wheelbarrow. Look at the wheel on this beauty. I'm going to be turning it into a planter for my yard. The location for the new wheelbarrow garden is right behind me. Whatever this thing is that keeps trying every year to grow, and has been here for ages and sends up beautiful sticks. It's just not my style. If you love it, I'm so sorry. If you lived closer, I would give it to you, but now it's gotta go because I always believe if something is driving you crazy in your home, in your garden, it needs to go. We're gonna be getting rid of it. This is where the wheelbarrow garden is going to go and it hopefully will be a lot prettier and won't drive me crazy. As you can tell, that whole area is weedy and a mess because every year I hope it's gonna turn into a lovely plant and it just doesn't. So it's time to get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is clear the area. The first thing to do was to cut back those sticks and I got right to it. Unfortunately, my clippers were not cooperating. Time for an upgrade. That was better. I would still have to dig out some of these stumps. The next step was to get rid of the weeds. I have wild morning glories like crazy around here. If you have any tips or tricks for getting rid of them for good, please comment down below. I am sick of pulling them out. Can I ask a favor? I know many of you watching the video right now haven't clicked that like button yet. If you like the video, please make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell. That way you will continue to be notified every time I upload a new video. It really helps me to grow my channel to continue to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. Thank you. Next step was to get that beautiful wheelbarrow ready to become a planter, which meant drilling some holes. Look at that beautiful wheel on that wheelbarrow. I used my one and a quarter inch drill bit and drilled about five holes. Now to build up the wheelbarrow garden. I've seen a lot on Pinterest where they just put the wheelbarrow flat on the ground or the grass, but you know I'm obsessed with that wheel, so I wanted to raise it up and I thought I would use rocks. Luckily, my mom is my next door neighbor and she had landscaping rocks she did not want in her garden. And you know how much I like free, so it was the perfect deal, I just had to move them. Did I mention it was 90 degrees that day? Arranging the racks to find the perfect way to make the wheelbarrow stable was a little tricky, but once I laid down the base, it was on to the next step, and that was to add rocks to the base of the wheelbarrow for drainage. Luckily, I had a whole bunch of landscaping rocks that I had pulled out over the years that were free. So I grabbed them, filled the base, and then covered it with soil. The next step was to plant the wheelbarrow. You can plant your wheelbarrow with whatever you'd like. I did a combination of annuals and perennials and included some lavender, because who doesn't love lavender? Now it's time to dry fit the plants. So I kind of popped them all in the wheelbarrow the way I think I want, and I can move them around while they're still in pots. 
this is a lot easier <laughs> than doing it after planted. You want to make sure you have some spillage, you want to have some tall stuff, and I always pick annuals for pops of color. Not a true gardener, but I know what I like. You plant what you like. When I got done watering, a little visitor came to my garden. I thought it was a huge compliment that this little robin, if you see him in the back, came to visit. Day two, so it's the next morning, and uh, that's all planted, but the area behind it is kind of sparse. So I need more plants, and I don't want to spend like another $100. So it's time to go looking in my yard to see what I can divide up and luckily, my mother is my next door neighbor, so maybe she has some plants too. Now it was time to address the bare area on either side. I wanted it to look more like the rest of my garden, so it was time to do some transplanting of plants. A great filler in my garden are lilies. They fill in quite quickly and I had a lot of them, and so did my mom, who said I could have some of her Stella de Oras. When you're transplanting a plant, my grandpa's secret was to plant it and then step on it all the way around. Make sure it's good and tight. Of course, then you need to water it too. Okay. Hot day again, I'm all hot and sweaty, but the plants need a drink. I think it's looking better. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Now we need to drench the plants. Most important step, don't skip it. You might wonder why I put the wheel up. It's because I love it. I love the junk. I love it rusty, I love it chippy, and I love it aged. And now, it won't be in the dirt. I get to enjoy all of the scrapes of paint and all of the junky goodness. Since I really enjoyed the robin visiting my garden, I wanted to make sure more birds could also enjoy it. So I took the bottom of a planter, which I found junking, and the base of a pot and made a bird bath. I also added a cement frog, which was also another found object to my garden. Although I love the idea of the bird bath, I really wasn't crazy about the top of the bird bath, and I thought I had a much better idea. Sometimes I am positive things in my booth do not sell because they just want to come home with me. I thought that was the case with this cute bird bowl that I had gotten a while back. I thought it would fit perfectly. I did bring it home and put it in. Unfortunately, it was a little bit too small. I think I will keep it for now for the little bird, but pretty soon I will be upgrading it. The wheelbarrow garden is complete and I can hardly wait to show it to you. You know, it's amazing what you can do with a little junk. I am going to be continuing to make a whole series of junk in the garden, showing you how I incorporate found objects into my garden just to make my garden a little extra special and to show my love for salvaging, repurposing, and creating. Do you have junk in your garden? I'd love to know what you've included. I'm looking for lots of inspiration. Let's take a look at the garden.